Hi, hello, if you're new here, my name is Madison. If not, welcome back. Today I am going to take you guys back in time to go wedding dress shopping with me. I only shopped, I think, for about four or five hours with my family, and the very first place we went, I'll put up on the screen the name because I don't remember exactly what it is, but it was in Westport Village, and this was kind of the one I just went in with no assumptions whatsoever and just tried on whatever my family pulled out for me. I'm the only girl in my family, and so there's a lot of people that wanted to come with and share in this moment with me. However, there was also a lot of opinions going on too, and so they just wanted the opportunity to see me in so many different kinds of dresses. And unfortunately, I don't have pictures or video of a lot of the ones that I did try on. Granted, I think I only tried on maybe a handful to ten at the most, just for everyone's curiosity. But today I'm going to take you guys through the four dresses that I do in fact have pictures of, and at one point or another were a potential contender as the dress I would wear on my wedding day. So I'm going to walk you guys through the first boutique that we went to and then I'll take you guys through the second which we didn't have an appointment for. We just walked in and asked if they had any availability by chance or if we could just browse the racks to see if there's anything I was interested in and then to come back later. And I'll leave the rest for when we get to it but there's a little bit of story time with that one. But for right now, I'm going to take you guys through the very first boutique in the dresses that I tried on. And if you see me looking down at all, it's because I'm looking at my phone just so I can see the pictures in real time. But the very first one was kind of in a romantic style that I wanted, and it kind of had like a honey tone to it, which at the time I thought would look really pretty, especially if I was to be more tan, like I intended to for the wedding. The only thing was, I didn't exactly love the lace pattern on it. I felt that it lended itself more towards grandma or a little too botanical. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. It's just a lot of flower motifs and that's just not my thing and it wasn't my thing at the time. However, I do think it was beautiful and it kind of was the start of what I wanted as you'll see later, but it just wasn't the dress for me. The second dress is very very similar to the first one in that it was the same tone it was just a different lace pattern and a different cut on the neck personally i am very tall and another problem that we were running into quite often was that i wanted to wear heels on my wedding day my husband is also tall and i just felt confident and comfortable in them and the problem was is that a lot of these dresses were either off the rack or as is, they didn't do any added length, which I ended up needing to do for my wedding dress. And so some of these just weren't a contender. This one, my feet were pretty much showing from the start and that's without heels at all. So this one was pretty much ruled out exclusively just from that alone. However, I think we were getting closer. I wanted a loose mermaid shape, but I really wanted a long ornate train and this one just didn't have that. So. It was pretty, but again, it was not my dress. Moving on to the next dress that I tried on. This one was most similar to what I was wanting. It was a two-tone dress with a more bold lace pattern. However, it kind of was a little bit too much on the boho side of things when I wanted it to be elegant, romantic, but also just slightly whimsical and boho, if you get what I mean. So as much as I love this one and really thought going in that this would be the dress that I walked out of the store with, it just wasn't. I did play back and forth with this one and the one you're going to see next. And the one you see next, we'll just go ahead and talk about it. This next dress threw me and my family for a loop. I never ever imagined myself in a ball gown dress and I think that this one may technically be a drop waist dress. If I'm wrong, please don't come after me. I don't know the terms for these things, and I didn't know it then either. But it was so romantic, it felt like, and I thought that if it was tailored appropriately, it probably would have fit me really well. And I think it's just because it was so different from my original vision that I ultimately considered it in the first place. But we probably were in that boutique for at least half an hour between this drop waist 
Cinderella-esque dress and the two-tone whimsical dress that I was really more so intending to buy. And so we left that boutique empty-handed, thankfully. I spent so long debating these dresses and it was because of the shopkeeper or the dress attendant, whatever you want to call them, and my family, they're like, let's just go see what else is in town. There's a bunch of dress shops in Louisville. Granted, I did a horrible job at looking them up beforehand, but we left and we ended up at Rebecca's Boutique, which is where I ultimately found my wedding dress. But here as well, I will get into our story time for the day. So we did not have any kind of reservations. I had heard of Rebecca's, but I knew that they had a lot more of upscale dresses and I just didn't think it would be wise for me to go in somewhere where there are five, six, seven thousand dollar dresses that just were nowhere close to our budget. And surprisingly enough, we went in with no expectations, no idea. We were just hoping to browse the racks and see what might be there. And the first dress that I saw that was on display was my wedding dress. And it's exactly what I wanted. It's every picture that I had saved combined into me. It felt like me. It looked like me. It was my personality and style on a dress. And so we went in with no expectations of even getting to try this dress on. But we asked the attendant and they said that we thankfully were so, so lucky in that there was a cancellation not that long before we had arrived. And they had about 15 minutes left of that appointment slot. So they so graciously took us back, pulled off this dress and a few other dresses to try on just in case. But I was pretty sure this was the dress for me as soon as I tried it on. And it was. I was so happy, so giddy. As soon as they put a veil on, it felt like my dress. And so in less than five minutes, I had walked into the store, magically gotten an appointment time or a slot to go try on this dress and then said yes to this dress. It was meant to be, and if anything, I think it was a God thing, or a thing, or a sign from the universe, whatever you believe in, every opinion's welcome here. But I am so incredibly thankful that we left the other boutique and just explored the city for a bit to see what was around. And thank goodness they had this dress on display. It was like it was just sitting there waiting for me to be like, Come, try it on, this is yours. I know it's tempting, it's right here. And ultimately I felt so beautiful in that dress at the time of trying it on, trying it on again when it came in with extra length because being a tall girly, it's a little rough sometimes. There's a lot of dresses that we asked the attendants about just for curiosity's sake if they offered added length and a lot of them don't so that's a tip for those that are also on the taller side or intend to wear heels. Just ask the attendant that's with you to see what dresses they offer in extended lengths. That way you don't get your heart set on a dress that you just can't have or is not the vision that you have for your day because I didn't want to wear flats, I didn't want to wear tennis shoes. I know that's a big thing nowadays, but I really wanted to feel feminine, I wanted to feel romantic, I wanted to feel just a little bit sexy. And that's exactly what this dress did for me. So thank you to Rebecca's Bridal, or Rebecca's Boutique for my whole experience and squeezing me in that day. It really was the perfect dress for me. But I'm gonna take you guys through a little bit more of the wedding planning process. I think you're gonna see me asking one of my maid of honors to be in my wedding and a few other things. So I hope you stick around. So I'm currently dropping off our deposit to reserve our caterer since we had to find a new one. But after that we are going to Shane Co. to go look at engagement bands which I'm really excited for just because the ring that I have is kind of hard to find something that fits around and just because the base of the halo is just so wide so I'm not really sure what we can do but I'll be curious to let you guys know and show you what we do find. Just a second here. I'll be right back. 
Okay. I have a bunch of them and then they come back. I'm like, I'm sorry, yeah. we saw the last one, you know, a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. And they, they didn't believe us when we told them. <laughs> So I have been working on a bridesmaid proposal box for my best friend. Actually, I guess it's not really a bridesmaid proposal box because I'm actually asking her to be my maid of honor. So Sarah, if you're watching this, I hope you like it and it's still a work in progress and you're going to see it later tonight. But so far I have this giant little box that says Sarah on it, which Duh. But um, I wanted to make it homemade just because she's always made me homemade gifts since I've known her since high school. And since high school she's also had a mug addiction. So one of the things I currently have in the box is a, this calls for a happy dance mug, which I hope she used for a long time, but she has a serious mug addiction. We went on a Europe trip in high school forever ago. And I kid you not, I think she wanted to buy like six mugs from all the countries we went to. And then I also know that she likes candles. And I actually happened to find this one at Target and thought it was super cute and super appropriate. And it says, you're the best. And it actually smells pretty good. And it's a soy candle, which I definitely appreciate because a lot of the other candles are not that healthy for you. And I'm also gonna get some, I think eucalyptus either like Italian Ruscus or like some silver dollar to add into here. But I just wanted it to be very homemade, very personal. On top of, I'm gonna write her a letter. I'm not sure if I wanna give it to her in the proposal box or later on closer to the wedding. Okay, so I actually finished Sarah's little proposal box. So it looks like this. And then if I can tilt this without it moving. That's not gonna work, so it actually looks like this. Thanks. Oh, okay. oh my gosh! Yes, that is so awesome! Oh, this is the cutest thing ever! Someone asked for so long. Oh my gosh, no that's idea. so exciting! We just finished with Abby's wedding and Grace is the maid that. of honor, so I was like, I'm like learning from her because she's so <laughs> organized. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I feel like it's like sorority it kind recruitment. Of is. <laughs> 